Welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title of the video, we are back in Boracay. This time I am no longer on a solo trip. I am here with my girlfriends. Lorene is already here. She arrived yesterday and I flew in with one of our friends from Jakarta, Elizabeth. You guys will be seeing her later on in the vlog. But as usual, first things first, let's do a room tour. So this is my room. We got a king size bed. We are on the sixth floor. This is at the Henan Park. As you guys know, there are a bunch of Henans around Boracay. And they gave us this sweet little surprise. Super nice. And then we have this balcony that opens up into seeing the rest of the resort and you get a view of the pool area. Very nice nook to have your morning coffee in. And this is the room. And let me show you the bathroom. This is the bathroom with the shower and the tub that looks into the room. As usual, they also make some really sweet personalized welcome messages on the TV. They did it last time too. Henan really makes you feel right at home here. So I really love staying with them. And now it's time to get ready because we're gonna meet up for lunch in less than an hour. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. First agenda is to grab food. We're grabbing lunch. We're meeting up Lur with Lorene at D Mall at one of my favorite cafes there. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you. 
let's take a picture. Oh, wow, you trained him well. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like hiding all the angles. Oh, all right, enjoy Thank your you trip. Much, you Bye. 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 All right, we are back in the room. We're just going to quickly change and then go hang out by the beach. He really wants to see the sunset, so no agenda, just gonna hang out and I'll change and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Green had to go back to work, but we just went back to the hotel. We changed. Up it changed. <laughs> and now we're gonna have happy hour here at Discovery and just watch the sunset. It is day two here in Boracay, and today we're gonna have Elizabeth try some Filipino food. I think we might go to Station X, I'm not sure. But last night was so fun. We ended up, first we started out at Wave, which is at Henan Regency, and the music was so fun. It was just like all of these throwbacks. So we started the night there, and then we just like walked around the island and kind of looked at other places to check out and then we went to this other bar closer to D-Mall but it was so packed and really like muggy inside like there was no it didn't feel like there was any ventilation <clears throat> so we walked in and Lorene and I looked at each other and we're like are we gonna last here <laughs> and we're just like let's just look for another place and then I remembered last time we were here Suyen and I and a few of our friends we went like behind the island there was this place that does beer pong and I remembered next to it there was another bar too and I was like let's just go try let's just go walk towards that end so we walked to the other side and then we went to this bar and at first there there was only it was probably at just like 30 percent capacity and no one Everyone was seated, like no one was dancing. Um, but then the music was so good, so Lorene and I stood up and then we just started dancing and then we're like, no one else is dancing. And we're like, whatever, like, it doesn't matter, let's just have fun. So then we started dancing. And then a few minutes later, like the entire bar was dancing, like everyone was dancing. And we're just like, yes! Sometimes it just takes that one person like the music is great and everyone wants to but no one wants to be that first person to dance and Lorene and I just like didn't care and we were like egging each other on and Elizabeth also started dancing with us and she was having fun and like everyone just started having fun and I just love a night like that although by around midnight ish 1am we were just like okay we need to get some rest because we still have a full day today which is why my voice is a little bit raspier now <laughs> we're getting ready i'm just gonna throw this dress on because it's the easiest thing to put on and i think we're gonna head to station x we're gonna have lunch i'm gonna have elizabeth try some filipino food and then we're just gonna go around maybe try and find some good coffee i want her to try some of my favorite spots on the island and if she's feeling adventurous enough maybe i'll try to take her over to puka beach or something but i'll let her play it by ear so now i am just I, i'm like i'm kind of hungry so if elizabeth isn't done yet maybe i'll just go grab breakfast really quick downstairs uh, and I'll have her meet me there. And I wanna wear these earrings. And I think they're so cute, but they're also like a little bit heavier than what I'm used to. So maybe I'll just put them on before we leave the hotel. So I'll just put it in my purse first. <laughs> it's just so cute. It's my little 
Parol. Here, Parol. I'm gonna try to remember what brand sent this over, but it, I do know it's a local brand, so. Actually, most of what I'm wearing today are local brands, or like Filipino. This is a Filipino designer. This is Charina Sarte. Sarte. This is by a local company too. I can't remember what it what, what they're called. And then my bag is also a local brand. I think it's called Wenya. I'll try to put links in the description box down below. The only thing that isn't local are my shades and my shoes. Anyway, I need coffee. I'll catch you guys in a bit. There's good coffee. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Apparently there's good coffee, so we're gonna go try it out. All right, here we go. It's next to White Sand, Blackfish. Let's try it out. Oh, it's in there. It's in the alley. Oh, here. Blackfish are expected. We wanted to have pastries with our coffee because but they only have cookies and coffee. So um, we went, I went next door and I just got like classic Pinoy Pinapay, which is we have pan de cojo. I'm gonna have her try it. And then thank you, Ate. And then we have and the coffee, the madena. And then we have this is the blackfish coffee with activated charcoal and I think sweet milk. Let's try it. Oh wait, no, I need to have a bite before I even yeah. get this in my system. Here, so we're gonna try this is pan de coco. There's coconut meat inside. Ooh. Yeah. Alright guys, what is this called? She got the white top I want to spend my life with you and We got the sunset Chori burger, a Caesar salad, and butter garlic seafood. And in true Boracay fashion, we're gonna make Elizabeth try the Chori burger. Yes. Chori burger. The cutest Chori burger I've ever seen. Oh, that looks good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Mm. Is it good? 
perfect. I like when the sun hit my head, hit my head. I like when the sun hit my neck. Okay, we went to the back of D Mall where the palenque is. And I was like, oh, let's go have try Coco Mama. Sarado. <laughs> Apparently they moved. Yeah. So now we have to go around to D Mall, which is where like the main walkway is. That's where the new branch is. So if you guys are watching this and you're coming back to Bora and you want to try it, go to the main area, not the palanque. On this side, pre roll got my eye rolling back to a crimson, yeah. Pre roll got me floating, now we open, now we sloping. This is stronger now. We in Cali, soon it's in and out. I don't mind the true in town. I don't mind who looking now. I like when the sun hit my head, hit my head, ay. I like when the sun hit my neck, hit my neck, ay. I like when the sun hit my chest, hit my chest, hit my chest. I like it when you do your best. We're back in the room after we hung out on the beach. We decided to change into something more comfortable because we're gonna do a Parau sailing in about an hour. And I don't think my dress is conducive to getting wet because on the Parau there's like net areas and most of the times you're gonna get wet. So I had to change into a bathing suit. I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. All right, so this is the look. Uh, shades are from Sunny's. Accessories are from Shashi NYC and this actually this really cute Nicole bracelet is from Bobble Bar and this one oh my gosh I just found this super cheap on the Zada I'll find the link and I'll link it down below the swimsuit is this is Revolve and then like a day before my flight I realized I didn't have any shorts for the beach so I ran to Uniqlo and I bought these and they're so comfortable. These are a striped green and white seersucker shorts. And then I'll also show you what else I got. So this is how I styled it. And then I figured I also got this from Uniqlo. I think this was only like 990 or something like that. This is the dumpling bag and I'm just gonna wear it like this so that it's easy for me to like walk around and not have to carry something. And then I haven't decided if I'm gonna wear the hat or not. But this is what it'll look like. And Loreen is on her way to come pick me up, so let's go. Hey, watch out what you got. Porro en el coche Tomo rompa que los nervios se escondan Día 
Las derrochados a mí ni me importan Esta noche tú y yo qué vamos a hacer. Guys, we just finished for our sailing and we went to Casa Bar. And. Sale de bajo. It's Robbie One and Nicole. just got or I just got back home and I'm unpacking all my things because our flight is tomorrow so I have to prepare everything 
Um, am I still gonna be able to sell this? Should I rock a new look? Like, <laughs> oh well, now it's gone. I'll try to fix it. I think it just needs a screw. Anyway, today was eventful. We didn't plan any of that. So after Parau, sunset sailing, Loreen was craving to go to Casbah. Or is it Casbah? I can't remember what the new name is, but she was craving to go there. So we walked over and as we entered, we realized that they had planned to, like the restaurant was having a speed dating event that night. So we're like, okay, whatever. They're having a speed dating at that side of the restaurant we're just gonna eat on this side and then eventually the well you guys saw what happened so long story short napasubo kami bigla kaming napadpad doon and we elizabeth and i tried it actually it's funny because last night this wasn't on the vlog but last night elizabeth elizabeth and i were talking at dinner and we were like you know what we should just say yes to more things like this was last night okay before knowing anything that happened today we're like we should just say yes to more things you know you just never know what will happen you know let's just be open so we're like okay great so then we that's why we went out last night because Lorene and everyone wanted to go out so we're like we're tired but okay sure we'll go out and we ended up having fun so we're like okay great so then today, when they were like, you should join the speed dating thing, at first we were really hesitant because one, we weren't mentally or any way, in any way prepared for this event. But we looked at each other and we're like, sure, why not? Like, it was just a 20, 30 minute thing. And it was just for fun anyway. It's not like, no, we were taking it seriously. So it was fun. And it was both our first times to try that so it was cool to be able to have that first experience with someone who's also going through it for the first time and who's a friend so we will forever have this memory to look back on and to laugh on and we even have it documented in a vlog so we can look back on it and you know like remember tonight my takeaways from tonight was one just be open it was actually unexpectedly fun obviously we didn't really like match with anyone but that wasn't really the point the whole point was just to be open to new experiences and have fun we ended up having a great time and now we have this great memory and we're probably going to be looking back on it for a while in terms of the guy i matched with i matched with robbie who actually we found out was also staying in the same hotel we are in and but he was also like us he was also forced to join the speed dating and his boyfriend was in the same room watching us do it like they were just such a cool couple and they were so like down to have fun so even if Elizabeth and I aren't Robbie's type he he was still you know he was just in it to have fun and we had a great time and we matched and yeah so that's it <laughs> who knows what tomorrow has in store for us we're just gonna go with the flow and i think Lorene is also having this Lorene's planning this party on the 13th and we might end up going oh that's wait that's tomorrow yeah Lorene's planning a party tomorrow so when we get back into Manila, we just have to shower, get ready, and then Lorene's having another party. And we're just saying yes to everything. We're like, sure, why not? Sure, Elizabeth is on holiday. We're taking her out. Go la, go lang man, go girl. I am gonna end this here. I'm probably gonna pack this back in my suitcase. I have to pack everything else. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning guys, it is day three. Ignore the hot mess of a suitcase. I just threw everything in. We're about to have breakfast with Lorraine and Elizabeth. So let's go pick them up and head to breakfast. Oh, really quick, let me show you what I'm wearing. All right, here we go. Same shades as before. These earrings are from a local brand. I think they're Sepa Cebu, I'm not sure. This dress is Charina Sarte. 
It's more of a backless, so that's why I just put my hair up so you could see the rest of the dress. And my purse is this one I got from Ruval, but because I'm in a rush and I am a little bit lazy, I just threw the body bag that I was using yesterday inside because it also is more secure. It has a zipper. This bag doesn't. So it's a bag in a bag. All right, let's go. Bumbling, in and out, was within. 